everybody, and I want to thank Dr. Friedlander and Dr. Bickel for giving me the opportunity to come and visit uh, this quite remarkable uh, place, and also for participating in this press conference. I've been directing the National Institutes on Drug Abuse eight years. I've been all of my professional life devoted to understanding what happens in the brain of people that uh, lose the control uh, to take drugs, that become addicted to them. And over the past uh, 15, 20 years, uh, thanks very much in part to technologies like brain imaging, we've started to understand that repeated drug exposure physically changes your brain. And that, of course, has led to the recognition that drug addiction is a disease of the brain. And that it's a chronic disease because the changes that occur in the brain of people that are addicted remain months and sometimes years after the person has stopped taking the drugs. So one of the priorities for the institute is to develop therapeutic interventions that can help the person stop taking drugs and very importantly, recover into their environment. Most of the research that has been done up to now is focusing on that immediate intervention that would allow a person to stop taking drugs. But much less is known for the other aspect, which is the recovery, the process by which the individual goes back into its social system. And, 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 and notify, I mean, understanding that process better and actually getting a be, even a better idea of what percentage of people that are addicted to drugs achieve recovery is something that we don't even have data now. And this has to do in part on the fact that addiction has been stigmatized and on the other, that people that have recovered don't have a forum where they can actually record their experiences. And that's where this initiative from Dr. Bickel is so creative because it's going to provide an environment where the person that has been successful in achieving recovery can share with others. Because it is through sharing that we learn how others have been able to overcome difficult situations. So in and of itself, I predict that this infrastructure will have a therapeutic element to it. But I also predict that it will open up the space for us to be able to do research on this very important area, that of recovery. How do people do it? And uh, what are the active ingredients that can help us, for example, predict who is more likely to be successful, whereas who is more vulnerable? So that then we can intervene accordingly. So it's a pleasure to be here with all of you to share with you this, this wonderful moment and I want to congratulate you for your creative initiative. Thanks very much.